Well, hi, everybody. Good evening to meteorologist Travis Klineski filling in for Kit Kloninger this evening. We have a, a new severe thunderstorm watch that has been issued for portions of south, southeast Nebraska, northeast and north central Kansas until midnight tonight. Does not include the Tri-Cities. At this point, I do not expect severe weather for the Tri-Cities, but we could see some thunderstorms later tonight, which we'll get into over the next couple of minutes. Uh, but again, nothing going on at the time of this recording, which is shortly after 530 in the afternoon. But we are going to be watching for new storm development over the next hour or two in these locations. The Storm Prediction Center also having a uh, slight risk and marginal threat for severe weather in those locations as well. Now, right now, the way it looks, your threats are going to be uh, mostly hail and wind, damaging wind gusts, possibly as high as six or 75 miles per hour. I think most of them would be 60 to 70 mile per hour type winds, that kind of a threat. Hail um, could be as high as um, two and a half inches in diameter, but most of the time won't be quite that strong. And then even an isolated tornado or two can't be po can be a, a possibility. But again, I don't expect a ton of severe weather for the local four viewing area. This is going to be on the edges of the viewing area over the next couple of hours. So let's take a look at my uh, my future cast product here, and you see our cold front, which is slowly shifting southeastward, almost stalling out. Really, it's very slow to move here. But over the next couple of hours, and I'm actually going to roll through this manually, so you see it. I expect showers and thunderstorms in these locations, some severe weather a possibility. Now, it's not out of the question, though, that we could have these a little farther to the north and northwest, Lincoln, um, maybe as far west as Superior, Smith Center, those locations, but higher chances farther to the southeast. That takes us through about midnight tonight there, but look, and you'll notice increasing clouds from the south towards midnight. New showers and thunderstorms are going to be overriding that front as the low-level jet kicks in, and we'll see new storms lift into the local four viewing area. These are going to be non-severe thunderstorms. There's going to be a lot less instability north of that cold front. So while we still we could see showers and thunderstorms, I don't expect much of a severe weather threat. Uh, you're best chance of maybe a couple of stronger storms would be where they flare up there in southeast Nebraska as you kind of saw there late at, at, in the night here but we'll see a pretty decent chance of rain overnight um, I don't think it'll be copious amounts of heavy rainfall not worth a flood risk or anything like that other than maybe southeast Nebraska where there's a flash flood watch out in far southeast Nebraska I'll get to that here in just a bit and then even into tomorrow morning, about 7 o'clock, southeast Nebraska, still a pretty decent chance of rain and thunderstorms. Still about a 30% chance around the Tri-Cities, 20% chance for Kearney. And then quickly kind of shifting those out of here by 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. Clouds eventually giving way to sunshine in the afternoon. And a very pleasant day temperature-wise. We're talking about 70s for highs and mostly low and mid-70s. So a very nice day temperature-wise, not terribly strong winds with that high moving in. There is a small chance... A couple of models are showing it, not very many of them though. There's a small chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms later on in the afternoon and evening, kind of going around this uh, area of high pressure here. Uh, you can kind of see them there. Again, will they happen or not? That's still kind of iffy right now. I'll kind of back that up. Um, and they'll probably die out after sunset, to be honest. Uh, like I said, some models, uh, most models actually don't even show it. Only about one or two do. And this one happens to be one that is. And that's why I decided I better include a 20% chance of rain and thunderstorms in the afternoon and early evening hours. Once that clears out of here, it'll be clear, cool for Sunday night into Monday morning. Monday looking fantastic. A little warmer on Monday, though. All right, real quick here, I need to include the... Uh, flooding situation I was talking about earlier there's that flash flood watch this is for far southeast Nebraska Beatrice area Gage County so most of the local four viewing area is not included in that flash flood watch well let's move on to temperatures out there for tonight we're going to drop back into the 50s and lower 60s for overnight lows 40s in the panhandle of Nebraska and like I said tomorrow temperature wise looks spectacular uh, low and mid 70s for the most part maybe some upper 70s in southwest Nebraska so really nice temperatures on the way for your Sunday and then as we look ahead uh, we'll look ahead to Monday temperatures a little warmer back to the lower and mid 80s in most spots back above average keep in mind our average high is in the mid 70s this time of the year and uh, after tomorrow getting closer to if not slightly below that we're right back to the warm side of things on your Monday. How about the uh, rest of that long range forecast? Well, pretty good confidence over the next three or four days here as we warm things back up and this is the wrong graphic here because I work mornings normally, so I have it set to the morning uh, seven-day forecast. Let's go to the evening one. Here we go. So I apologize for that. Let's take a look here. It's going to take a lot of load here. And, of course, I have the fall thing in the wrong spot. That 
tells me I need to fix that before the show. Uh, anyway, it's it's now it's in the right spot as you look at the seven-day forecast. You can see though, warming temperatures Monday and Tuesday for the first two days of fall. There is a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms late Monday night into uh, Tuesday, mainly Tuesday morning. I think Tuesday afternoon dry. But staying on the warm side, Tuesday we could be pushing mid and possibly even upper 80s. Some models have us close to 90 on Tuesday. It's going to be pretty toasty again, but short-living, uh, short-lasting as we are right back to the 70s. Wednesday and Thursday. A little bit breezy out there as well with dry conditions. Uh, that's where my forecast models start to kind of skew away from each other towards the very end of the week here. Um, some models go much cooler and others are actually getting right back to the 80s near 90 again by Friday and Saturday. So I'm kind of playing middle ground right now. There's not much confidence in that forecast. Confidence in that forecast for Friday and Saturday. Uh, most models do have a chance, at least a slight chance, of rain and thunderstorms for Friday, late Thursday night into Friday. So I threw in a 30% chance. As of right now, it does look like it should be dry on Saturday. That of course could change. Saturday, of course, the could be a big day in Lincoln, depending on how things go tonight. Huskers hosting Ohio State, and there is talk that if the Huskers win tonight, and Ohio State I saw is winning big today, this afternoon, um, there's potential that College Game Day, ESPN's College Game Day, may be in Lincoln, and maybe a higher chance of that now that Utah lost last night. So if College Game Day's in Lincoln, it's already going to be a big game anyway, a uh, tough game, that's for sure. Um, uh, we're hoping that we'll have good weather. Hoping that at least as of right now it looks dry. Some models do have us quite warm, others not quite as warm. So playing middle ground, like I said, right now around 79 degrees. But we'll uh, we'll figure that out as we get a little bit closer to that part of the forecast. So anyway, uh, with that, I'm going to let you all go. Thank you all for watching on this Saturday evening. And of course, just in a little bit over an hour from now, or 20, hour and 20 minutes from the time of this recording, the Huskers will be uh, beginning their game against Illinois on Big Ten Network. So go Big Red. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I believe Tim is filling in for Kit tomorrow evening. I'll be back with you folks on Monday morning. Take care, enjoy your evening, and God bless. Bye.